I come out here on the Hawkesbury River to paint, to carve, to sculpt, um, just to be still and to be a child again, to learn some of the most ancient kind of laws of life, of survival, that are contained within this landscape. And I feel privileged to be allowed to do that in my life and to do it in a way that is slightly unique by coming out on a boat with my family and painting and making paintings that I can then take back to the city and, and to reveal some of the stories that I've learnt out here. And I guess that's what makes me a river painter at the moment. By being here and by anchoring in a bay for a number of days, it allows me to settle in and, and experience the, the sensuality that comes by, by taking time and um, uh, allowing to just meander through the creeks and head up through the mangroves. And uh, I bring boards and I bring paper and, and sculpture. There's no real rule how I work, but uh, it's instinctual. I, I have to create a way to exist here and I'm not a farmer so I don't work the fields here but what I am a farmer of is images and by being a farmer of images I look at the landscape and I look at rocks and I find stories in the rocks and trees and I start to create mythology and this is something that people have done for thousands of years is to make uh, a storyline to weave a fabric of, of their life experience within landscape. And so if I see uh, a rock that looks like an owl, I start to acknowledge that rock every time I walk past it, and I start to be reverent to it. And in that is the genesis of spirituality in landscape. I start to revere that rock, and I start to protect it, and I start to acknowledge power in it. And by acknowledging power, I'm really acknowledging power in myself to be connected to that rock. And so the void between the two of us gets reduced and I start to assimilate with landscape. And if I do that for long enough, I start to become more entwined with landscape. And um, I think that that's where uh, I'm being slowly etched by weather and wind and sun. I'm slowly shedding my skin from, from uh, being isolated to being a part of landscape. And as a painter, um, that's really essential out here. Mark Twain, Huckleberry Finn. I always wanted a childhood that was full of adventure. I always wanted to be like on a raft going down a river and it took 43 years but it's happened.